I don't like the way the trees just sort of gave up. I know. They're like, you know yeah. what? We're done. We're just going to move on. I'm like, come on. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Too. <laughs> Driving around, you see some early changes, and it's like, no, wait for the rest of them. It is, it, true. Yesterday, I was on uh, 95 on the way in, and I was like, oh, wow, the mm -hmm. trees are already starting to. Popping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that just means yeah. not, not good news, especially <laughs> because of the forecast. We have wind in the forecast that can blow some of those leaves around and maybe make for a little less grand colors as they change some trees change early and then those leaves fall off but as far as colors go northern New England that's where we're seeing the moderate to high foliage uh, changes this is from explore fall and this is an up-to-date map on where New England is as far as these color changes so low changes have been reported for southern New Hampshire uh, back towards central Massachusetts and not much but as Colton and I were just talking about you may have noticed a few spotty places do have those color changes so we'll be watching in the next seven days as likely that low does start to move closer and closer to Boston uh, going through those next seven days. Two days until the official start of fall. Now, unfortunately, these next two days both have rain chances in them. We still have that system off the coast that is bringing rain, wind uh, in the forecast and clouds. If you're not seeing that rain actively coming down, you're likely seeing clouds back towards Worcester, some breaks in those clouds. But otherwise, we're likely going to be keeping with this slightly raw pattern as we go through our next couple of days with those rain chances and that wind sticking around, especially along the South Shore and the Cape. So 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts are staying with us for the Cape and the South Shore. Uh, that does go towards Boston and along the coast, Cape Ann, parts of Cape Ann will see that as well. 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts elsewhere, greater Boston area, southern New Hampshire, even central Massachusetts. And as mentioned, with these wind gusts, any of those trees that have tried to change over uh, could just blow those uh, leaves right off the trees. So that's not great for the full Foliage. But as mentioned, also, we still have plenty of trees uh, that haven't tried to change over yet. So coastal flood advisory in place with those wind gusts coming right on shore. That's going to be uh, causing that risk for flooding during high tide times going through Sunday. So Saturday, 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then Sunday, 3 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be watching uh, for those trends. So this afternoon, we did see that peak at 12.9 feet. We do have the potential to see even higher going into Saturday afternoon. So there could be more water that does make it uh, over and onshore as we go through our day on Saturday. So tomorrow, rain chances continue. This is a look at 2 o'clock in the morning when many of us will be seeing scattered showers, a lot like today, but the potential does reach a little bit higher north. And then as we go through the day Saturday, those scattered showers will continue right along the coast until we finally break those clouds apart on Sunday. By Sunday afternoon, we may get some peaks of sunshine in there and we're losing those rain chances uh, for much of the day on Sunday. So early clouds, sun comes in by the afternoon on Sunday, and then Monday and Tuesday, we are going to see a little bit more sunshine, dry conditions. Of course, fall begins on Sunday, first full day of fall Monday, 65 degrees for a high. So yeah, we're feeling it. As we go through these next couple of days, high temperatures don't make it back to the 70s until we go into next weekend.